Hello guys and welcome to this new grease pencil tutorial. Today we will know how to make this fog effect in the distance for these trees and also for this landscape scene. We already learned how to make these rows of trees from just one tree in a short video that you can check on the channel. So today we will just create the fog. Before we start, please check my Gumroad. There are some free files there and some paid files and everything is connected to free tutorials on this channel. Please consider buying something from there to support the free content I'm making here. Thank you very much. So from these three modifiers here, we can start making the fog. The secret for making it is this modifier. This is a poorly known modifier that generates weight. If you want to learn about all the modifiers, I have a video dedicated to all all grease pencil modifiers so check it on the top right and as I said what this modifier does is generating weights for our grease pencil strokes what we need is a vertex group and then we will need a target object that will be our camera weight proximity means that the further our grease pencil stroke is from our target object, the more weights it will have. The camera here is our target object. So here, the further the object is from the camera, the more weight it will have. And we need this group, just a blank group in our grease pencil object. You go here and the vertex groups, you add the group, you name it, whatever you want. Let's just name it fog. Let's delete this one. Go back and let's select our new group here and this modifier will create the weight for you. Of course, this modifier doesn't do anything that will show on screen, but we'll need to work with another modifier that supports vertex groups. In this case, it's the tint modifier because we want to add tint to our trees here. And it has a strength of 0.5, that means 50%, but what we need is to change the influence from just all the strokes to our vertex group. So we choose the fog vertex group and already we see some results but what we need to do enable this button here the weighted button and this button will tell the modifier not to use this value at all but to purely use the weight of this group and so it will be 100% controlled by the weight proximity modifier then we will need just to play with the lowest and highest settings so lowest means that the weight will start increasing from the camera so this is the origin of our camera and the weight will start increasing from zero from this point on but we want to increase this lowest value here so that these front trees aren't foggy 20 meters maybe back to camera view we increase the highest two to maybe 70 meters 80 meters maybe 90 meters and we have this now if you go to your offset modifier and you want to animate these trees we have this fade in and we don't need to have unlimited trees here with just 10 trees we can do an animation that looks good so we go to general y location and we can change this value and we have the school animation and since the weight is connected to the camera we can also animate the camera so you select the camera you do gy and you can move the camera and it will work go further and further and further and now the trees have gone into the mist i don't know why it reminds me of the matrix when the guys are in a white place and they get like loads of weapons that come of nowhere we can also get the camera like this let's select the grease pencil object go to edit mode Select everything and turn the tree RZ 90 degrees so that they face the camera. Back to object mode and we can go GXX away from the trees. And you see that the fog works from all the sides wherever the camera is facing. So this is it for this example. Let's start a new file and do another example. Let's choose a solid fill here, green color. And let's create a simple landscape with parallax. Let's create some hills here. 
is the first here let's change the shade of green let's enable draw strokes on back so that the new hill will go behind the one we just drew now we'll make use of a new feature in blender 3.5 that will create non-destructive parallax for us so we go under advanced and change random to stroke and here we can add distance between all the strokes we drew by changing the y value if you have like more more strokes that you want to be together you will make different layers and then in the mode here you choose layer instead of stroke so this is the simplest possible parallax thingy that we are doing here and then you change the scale we need to change the x and z so change the x the same value you get here we will get here so 1.02 you get out of camera view you see that now every stroke is bigger than the one in front of it so this is it and now we add the fog effect just like we did before we add a vertex weight proximity modifier we need to create a new vertex group so we choose it here and then we target the camera and then we add our tint modifier under influence we change to our vertex group we enable the weighted button here 20 maybe 10 meters maybe 15 and we change highest to 50 maybe of course you can change the color here you can have a color like like this like brownish color a bluish color and now if we move the camera object mode select the camera G Y and you move the fog is going away and if you move back you see that the landscape is swallowed by the fog this is the magic of blender so this is it guys for today um, leave a like subscribe if you haven't uh, leave a comment if you have any question or suggestion or anything thank you for watching and see you in another video peace